Everything I ever owned could fit in there, five times over. Pieces of some kind of drawing. How odd. The candle is nearly gone, but it should do for a while once lit. Ah, just what I need. We meet again, old foe. More pieces of the same drawing. Maybe I can make out what it shows if I had enough of them. A dumb waiter. Big enough to fit your own weight and in food into. No, this isn't right. There should be a room here. No, this isn't what I need either. Where is it? Eavesdropping, Mr. Gordon? That's hardly proper. If you don't mind, I have a system and don't want to mix things up. Lady Gordon is very keen on confidentiality. Of course. Hiding something, are we? That looks... daunting. Daunting, but rewarding and fascinating. Fascinating? Yes, indeed. The history of the Gordon family goes back a long way. So it's true we are one of the oldest families in Scotland. Oh, much more than that. The Gordons have owned this land back into antiquity, before records were even kept. Add to that some unique and unusual local laws. Well, it can be a challenge, but a welcome one. Did you know my father? I was called to the house shortly after your father arrived. Why did that need a lawyer? Those complex local laws I spoke of were to blame. Your father left when Edward died, so none of the required legal formalities to transfer the house were observed. Does that mean...? Not at all. There will be no issue with transferring the estate to your name, if that is what you wish. Uh, have you had a chance to examine my papers? I have, and am delighted to say that everything is in order. I would not be doing my job if I didn't warn you that with Edward dead and your father absent, the family fortune has somewhat diminished over the years. However, the real treasure is the castle and the grounds themselves. I haven't spent as much time as I'd like here, but it is a unique place. 
I notice that the door to the master's study is locked. Might I get a key for it? Of course. I will see to it that you are supplied with one, if there is one available. No door should be locked to the soon-to-be owner, after all. Well, it's been a long day. I bid you good night. I'll get myself something to read and then head to bed too. Good night. Shame. Attics often speak volumes about the owners of a house. Father must have left something for me in the master's study. I suppose I could ask Mr. McKinnon to open it for me in the morning, but I'll have him breathing down my neck. And who knows what I'm to find. Selected Poems by Edgar Allan Poe. 